Hello out there commentators. My name is Confound It and I am bringing to you today a uh, the first episode in what's going to be a new series I'm doing called How Do I? Clever naming I tell you what. Um, this one's going to be about how do I make commentaries and the reason why I'm doing this is um, I made a four part tutorial series on the ArcSoft Showbiz software that ships with the Hapog HD PBR2 which is a great PBR. Love mine. Anyway, um, and that showed you how to uh best editing settings settings that I've found how to um capture edit and finally publish your uh finished work to either YouTube or save it locally on your computer and I've gotten a lot of great comments and questions on uh you know how do I do this and how doesn't how come this doesn't work and you know all that fun stuff so I decided I'm going to do um these little short series probably uh, 10 to 15 minutes long each on how do I and the first one is going to be how do I make commentaries probably the easiest and most straightforward thing to do in um, the ArcSoft Showbiz software so uh, let's go ahead and get down to it what I like to do is uh, organize everything in their own little albums so I'm going to call this how do I commentaries alright there we go got that and the next thing we're going to need to do is we need to uh, get our gameplay that's Black Ops. Don't want to do that. I'm going to be doing my commentary on Halo. Just started playing that game. I'm loving it. So I'm importing all of these different files. And the reason why I'm putting all these files in there, even though I'm only doing the uh, commentary on one game, is because um, the, I record or I capture in the M2TS format. And uh, Windows Media Player has trouble um, rendering that out. So. I uh, bring everything that I might use into the software, ArcSoft Showbiz, and um, find what I'm looking for, and then I take everything else out. Uh, first thing I want to do is look at the time. 8 minutes, 38 seconds. It might be a little bit long. I just started playing the game. I don't have a whole lot to say about it. So uh, 7 minutes, 7 seconds. That's good right there. So let's uh, drag that down to our timeline even though it's in story by storyboard mode we'll switch over to timeline that's really where you get your uh, best editing done and now that we've got that let me double check got an album let's go ahead and save this project and I don't want to save it in videos we can go over here in videos tutorials and commentaries we are there <coughs> how do I save all right we've got our project saved now what we're going to want to do next is um trim our head and tail the uh beginning and end of it and um if we were doing more than one i'd go into uh the multiple trim but we're just doing the head and tail uh, let me back up just a second and the cool thing about this is um if you look right here there's a no information on the audio right here up until this point so that gives me a good idea. You know, I can drag pretty quickly right there, see where I'm at. We got a 10 second countdown. That'd be long enough for me to say hello before the uh, gameplay. All right, so we've got our head done. Drag on down here. Let me show you another little shortcut while I'm at it. Um, I'm on the PC, so I'll be giving you PC shortcuts. Um, press down Control and uh, use your little mouse wheel and scroll backwards and it's going to shorten your timeline down this is a uh, well timeline and then um, at the end we just want to go ahead and do the same thing take it down to uh, get where it says defeat and everything else off of there wanted to end at a pretty good spot though there we go the scoreboard all right so now we've got that I'm going to do control and I'm going to zoom back in on my timeline and drag all the way back to the beginning and what we want to do now is uh, make sure we have a free track and I go ahead and lock those down just for security so we've got a um, one and two that's two tracks so you can have two audio overlays maybe uh, one for music one for your voice or if you want to do a dual commentary one for each of uh, um, what would be your own and your guest's voice if y'all recorded separately 
uh, but that's probably something for another day. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save my project again just because, you know, it's uh, better to save often and not lose it than it is to lose it and wish you saved it. But let's uh, move right along. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come down here. I don't want to lock it. All right, let me unlock those. I guess I have to have something selected in order to... Yep. Yeah. All right. So I'll select the video and I'm going to press the audio recording button <clears throat> and I make sure everything microphone yes master volume yes saving to where I want it to yes I'm going to give it a unique title I'm going to call it commentary without the capital O and I do not need it to add to it the album audio because um that's where you're going to end up storing like if um, you're using different music and you reuse music like for an intro or whatever else you know you can store that but since this is a commentary um, there's no need to store it because I'm not going to use the same commentary for another piece of video it's just it's rude and you know it's just not good practice to be rude so <clears throat> what I'm gonna do now is I'm fixing to actually start the commentary this is going to be a, a real commentary so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the commentary, then maybe 30 or 40 seconds into it, I'm going to stop my recording so you don't have to listen to me talk for about five minutes. You know, that way you can just uh, get the information you need and go on to making your own commentaries. So um, let's go ahead and get this going. Hey everybody, Con found it coming to you from uh, some sort of a map in the game Halo 4. I just started playing this game and I've got to say that I'm extremely... All right, so I just finished up the commentary. I uh, sorry about that. I forgot to bring y'all back in at the um, end of the commentary, but I, I got onto a little flow there and everything else. But um, if you'll notice right here, this long gap back here in the back, all that is is uh, I basically just said um, you know I've talked enough. There's two minutes left of the game, so y'all just go ahead and watch it without me talking about it. You know, uh, I usually talk the whole way through the game, but um, I was only two hours into it and two hours into the gameplay, so I didn't really have a whole lot to talk about and you know, that's that's just it. But um where we're gonna go from here is uh I'm gonna save again. And I I can't stress enough, man. Y'all save. I save every time you think you should save. And if you don't think you should save, go ahead and save. Yeah, save right after you do anything. Anything at all. Save. <clears throat> but anyway, let me um, get this off of the screen right here, and we're going to go ahead and um, pull in some transitions. And here's another uh, little tip for you, besides saving always. Um, wait and put all your effects and your transitions into uh, whatever your project is after you've actually done the project. And that's... Um, it, the reasons for it are, are, are quite a few. Uh, first off, you don't need um, these things layered on when you're in the middle of your editing in case you need to do an edit on the fly or anything else. You don't need to be bothered with, you know, moving a fade or a sweep or anything else out of your way. You know what I mean? Um, plus, it's going to, the program is going to work a lot better with you if you wait until the end to do that. So, um, all I really ever do is, um, you know, I'm going to, drag and drop a fade right up here in the front you know so we get a nice little uh, walk in as I like to call it and then uh, we're gonna walk it off with a little fade out and um, that's about it and you know what I'm gonna save my project alright now let me get back to the head of my timeline I'm gonna save again cause it started acting a little bit weird and then um going to go over here, click on the entire project, click off, make sure nothing's selected, and I'm only going to uh, probably play up until, you know, the 12 second mark, because y'all don't need to hear me, you know, I'm rattling on. Hello everybody, Confound it here, coming to you with some Halo 4 gameplay, some multiplayer gameplay. I believe the game type is SWAT, I'm not real sure about anything, because I've been playing this game for two 
Okay, what I noticed there was uh, my voice is a little bit lower than the actual gameplay. I need to change that. Um, let me save again. Let's see. Once you start putting these things on there, it gets a little crazy. It's getting non-responsive. All right, and this is going to add a keyframe right there where I'm dragging. I just want to drag this down a little bit. And then I am going to take this keyframe and drag it back to the beginning. That way there's no weird wave through the music where, or through the uh, gameplay where it, you know, gradually gets lower, then gradually comes back up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that little control um, back mouse wheel to make sure that I've got everything... Um, where it needs to be, make sure there's no slope on that, and there isn't. So now I'm going to come back here. To um, the head, and it's around about 12 seconds. We'll just go from there. Alright, entire clip. Let me save. I'm telling you, save often. I can't stress that enough, folks. Alright, multiplayer gameplay. I believe the game type is SWAT. I'm not real sure about anything because I've been playing this game for two hours and I'm digging it. As far as I. Alright, it's a little quiet. Go back to here. See, now from here, I could raise my voice a little bit. But I don't want my voice to get crunchy. Right about there. I'll try again. Oh, can't hear me at all. Make sure you click off of that because if you've got um, if you're over here in the active clip, it will um only play what's selected on and everything else. But I really don't know. But I'll tell you what I do know. I do know that this is awesome stuff we got going on here. I mean, still a little quiet for my liking. Hello, everybody. It's absolutely splendific. Um, I didn't do so well in the gameplay, but I guess that's expected. You know, only two hours into it. Um, I, yeah, that sounds good. So, um, wrapping it up right here at 13 minutes, 15 seconds, we have, uh, you know, how to make a commentary in the How Do I, how do I series. So, the only thing left to do is to um, create our file. And I am going to go with a Windows Movie Video, 1920 by 1080, bit rate, one pass VBR, constant quality. All right, 30 frames per second. Please save. Failed to save the file. All right, don't know why it's doing that, but um, you know, there we go. 1280 by 720. No, 1920 by 1080. It's what I want. Save start and there we go y'all have a great day remember to comment like and subscribe and i'm also going to put on um my website theconfoundit.com i'm going to uh write out step by step in case i go too fast in the video or you know uh, you just um would prefer to uh read or maybe read and watch at the same time either way uh comment like and subscribe and um, my website is hooked up to the facebook so uh you know, if you comment on my website, it'll go to Facebook and I'll get back to you a lot quicker. Thanks for watching.